that she has to focus on right now is Barbie Hayden. Like you said, traveled the world, a very accomplished athlete. And some of the things we've seen Maserati do in FSW, but she's the reason. You can see it. The case that's hanging above the ring right now, she's the reason Nick Bugatti won that last year. You know, and the bottom line is, all these fans that are here tonight, they know Maserati very, very well, and they know how easy it is to get under her skin. Exactly. Like she said during her interview right before this matchup, she's not mentally stable. She didn't phrase it like that, but she talked about ripping the head off dolls as a child. Yes, she did. And she seemed very proud of those accomplishments. Look at all the jewelry she's wearing to the ring. I guess the No Limits Championship has brought some extra money into the family. And the collar and elbow tie up. And look at this, Maserati taking her right to the corner. I didn't think we'd see a clean break. To be I, up. I, I, almost, I guess I spoke too soon. We did see the clean break, but what we saw was Maserati setting the tone for her goals in this matchup. What she's going to do is take every single shortcut to make sure she attains the victory. And you know, you talk about how in baseball you got to know the umpires. We have, you know, three referees, and our youngest one is working this match. And I'm pretty sure somebody like Maserati is going to figure out how to utilize that to her advantage since he's less experienced than the other two. I'm better than you. Yeah, Maserati's going to get inside the head of the referees and anyone else that can benefit her career. But the only thing that's going to benefit her career tonight is getting that victory over Barbie Hayden. Nice reversal, and right now Maserati. Yeah, Maserati, though, got right back to her feet, though. Trying to take some of the pain, some of the... Oh, no, wait a minute. Barbie Hayden holds on, brings her up and over, and back into an arm bar. You know, Maserati, just a couple of years of experience here in FSW. Barbie, she is a veteran, as you said, a former NWA women's champ. And this, you know, by far is probably one of the toughest matchups that Maserati has probably had in her young career. And let's see how she's going to do. And right now, it's not very good. Tremendous strength by Hayden, but Maserati wiggles herself free. But gets knocked over once again by Barbie Hayden. Oh, the duck under. But the mule kick right to the midsection and, uh, and grabbing a, a head of hair. Yeah, Maserati totally has a mean streak in her, and it's something Barbie Hayden's got to watch out for. Barbie Hayden able to take advantage of just about any situation, given her experience level. Yes, 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 yes. Mr. yes, Mr. Opportunity, making sure that Maserati's okay, doesn't want to get on the wrong side of Nick Bugatti. And Barbie Hayden doesn't want to get on any side of Mr. Opportunity, because that's a losing battle. All right. She was able to escape from that time, but gets cut off. Lured into a trap set up by Maserati. And if you look at it, Mr. Opportunity actually didn't put his hands on her, but he did what was necessary to allow Maserati to take over. And that's what he's here for. I mean, we don't know. Maybe he'll put his hands on Barbie Hayden at some point, but the situation did not call for it just yet. Oh, look at that. Maserati to the back. And listen to the crowd. They are trying to get behind Barbie Hayden. Whatever it takes. They've all seen her. They've all read about her. They know what she's all about. They also hate Maserati. That's part of the reason they're getting behind Barbie Hayden. And face first right into the canvas. And yeah. Maserati apologized. Very sincere it sounds. Yeah, I'm sure she is apologizing in a very sincere manner. Barbie Hayden gets taken down by Maserati with a couple of headbutts. Maserati a little slow for the cover, but might have her. Only a two count as Barbie Hayden. I'm not sure, you know, what she thought about this matchup, but with her experience, I'm pretty certain that she figured that uh, she'd have a pretty easy time tonight. Yeah, she might not have been familiar with Maserati coming into tonight, but now she's very familiar with Maserati, driving all her weight right on the 
the throat of Barbie Hayden before slingshotting her back dead center of the ring. You know, and the bottom line is, you know, Maserati mainly uses Nick Bugatti's valet, but there's no doubt about it. She definitely has some talent, and she'll also do whatever it takes to walk away with a victory. She's learned a lot being around Bugatti. Flips off Maserati. But still like gasping for air here. Kick right to the side of the face. And Maserati is never at a loss for words. I hope the microphones didn't catch what he just said. Behind me, roll-up though by Barbie Hayden. Oh, Maserati tries to kick, loses her balance. Hayden rolls her up again. Not enough to put her away. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at Super that. World Slam driving down Maserati. One, two. And just about had her. Maserati, though. You know, she, she comes from the street. She is a tough chick, Maserati. What streets? Soul, Martin Luther King Boulevard. Okay, I didn't think you'd go there. Well, yes. And hard in the corner she goes. Barbie Hayden, though, getting a full head of steam, but just jams her knee straight up in the turnbuckle. And Mr. Opportunity, I don't know if anybody saw that, had a hold of her foot for a second there. And Maserati once again takes advantage. Maserati doing her best to rain down those shots under the face of Barbie Hayden, though. This got to be it. One, two. Well, I thought that one was it. I thought she had her, too. That last ride style powerbomb. Not enough to put away Maserati. Goes for the cover again. Still not able to get that victory. You know, you got to give credit where credit is due. Despite Mr. Opportunity, Maserati could have been done in his match a couple of different times. Oh, yeah, Maserati has come a long way. Look, she's going for it here. Going for it. Going to try and bridge her down with a DDT, but Mr. Opportunity doesn't allow that. Soul food out of Maserati. The this cover, one, two, three, Done. and there you have it.